Hello, and welcome to my talk about PyTest Pac-Man. Generating Pac-Man fixtures for fun and profit. So, what I'll discuss in this talk is, I'll introduce myself, I'll introduce the project, um, the Pac-Man database layout, the differences between the different databases it has, what PyTest is, fixtures to do, and a conclusion. So I am Jelle van der Waal. I joined Arsenix in 2010. And recently, as three years ago, I am now an Arsenix developer. I'm involved in the security team and the DevOps team. And I maintain several Python, uh, well, yeah, Python projects in Arsenix, such as the uh, Pac-Man bindings in Python and the Django-based uh, website. So our main website is written in Django and the Arch sign of utility and more. Um, so why why did I start this project and what, what is it? And well, I started it um, basically <laughs> uh, a month ago or so. I, I, I had a problem. Oh, I took over maintainership of the uh, Pac-Man uh, Python bindings and I wanted to create a proper test set for it. And I started well, relying, and to test it, I need uh, a local database. I need, uh, and basically I need a normal Arch install. I need to mock this environment. So I used Pac-Man for this um, because it is, well, it is possible to add and download repositories and then um, install this all without root permissions. Um, but uh, well, this where it is um, adds the dependency of the network. It's slow because I have to download a, a, a packages database, and I wanted to circumvent this, so I had a, I tried to generate the uh, local database format. And it turns out this is pretty easy and also doable. And so I created a small script to do this. Then I turned it into a PyTest fixture. And finally it is used now in the, in the Pac-Man bindings. And then I thought I could reuse, I it would be awesome to make this reusable because more projects could use this. For example, Archweb, which is the website, also uses, um, it reads Pac-Man databases to um, see, to, to import the packages state into our website and display this. So why don't I make a PyTest plugin? And that's how it started. But first, I will introduce the database layout. So what we need to mock here. Um, so Pac-Man has a local database. This contains all the packages you have installed. So, and it's really, really simple. So as you have my, may, might have noticed, there's this Farley Pac-Man directory and it contains a local directory. And this includes a special file. And this file is the database version. So it was introduced in 2013. It's currently version nine. And when this was introduced, you had to actually update, upgrade like your database. And the current version nine hasn't hasn't really changed. So it, the, the version isn't bumped with the ALPM, so the um, C API version, which I think is now 11. And, and this version is still nine. So this local database, it contains a directory per package, which includes so the package version and the package rel, and also an epoch if that exists. And it contains, it can contain four up to four files, but two of those are optional. So the first file is the description file. This contains the metadata of the package. So in um, S key, you have these. Uh, uh, strings in uppercase, which are between um, percentage delimiters, and they 
contain like the, the name and then there's the value which is just a, a string um if you want to have multiple values you just append the value two times so if you have the multiple depends which directly translates to the depends in um, in your package build you'll see that as here on the slide then there's the files file um, this contains the installed files and um, just as a list and then there's the backup entry and this is um, exactly what you specify in your package build so it is an array of files which require special behavior when upgrading or removing and they contain the, the file path and a hash of the file. Um, then there's the install file. This is the, the install script actually, which you have exactly uh, specify in the install if um, directive in a package build. Um, this is not really relevant for testing as as of now, I'm not testing any installs or upgrades. Then there's the empty file. This is also not really interesting for, te for testing, but I added it for clarity. So this is um, this basically contains a description of the um, the package archive. So the, for example, if you take the Linux package, then you, you look at the, the you open the it's a gzip archive. And if you um, look at it, you'll see a tree uh, of the package with MD5 uh, with hashes of the files and permissions. And this is an archive format, basically. The next thing Pacman has is these sync databases. They are located in Farlib Pacman Sync. They contain the rep um, this contains the repository databases, and these are synced um, with the pacman minus capital S Y command, and this syncs all the repositories you have defined in your pacman.conf. Um, then there's recently this files databases. The, these were added in, I believe, pacman 5, and these allow you to search um, search for a file in, in the sync databases. So everything you have synced, you can search and see which packages contain, for example, a user bin echo. And these are synced with pacman minus FY. And both of these files are, you can see them on your mirror. So if you go to your mirror repository, and you go, to, for example, to the core uh, directory, you will see a core.db.tar.gz because that's what Arch uses as their um, as, as their compression format. However, this can be XSET or Z standard, for example. And locally, these files are renamed to core.db and core.files, and they are both gzipped. Um, format um, of the sync to be well, this con yeah, this contains all the metadata for which packages are in the core repository, and it's similar to it has a similar structure as the local DB, so it just contains package name, package version, package file, and then directory, and then a description file. This description file uses the same format as the uh, local database file, and the same goes for the uh, files. Um, DB. Um, this also uses um, directories, packages, and a files file, which contains the the local, which contains the files to look for through. Um, so now that we have all this knowledge, we know how to generate um, these kinds of files. So what did what did I do? Um, when I started adding tests to the Pacman uh, Python bindings, I started uh, with PyTest because it's one of the best testing frameworks for uh, for Python. It contains fixtures, so you can um, 
give a function to um, a test function you have, and this can be set up some data for you. For example, a database, MySQL database, for example, or an um, HTTP client for uh, with with your REST API key, etc. Configured or some random data you need in a test or so the fixtures allow me to create um the 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 required files I need for testing. So that was nice. This and then PyTest also re, uh, has this plugin framework which can extend um the PyTest runner for example so it adds coverage reporting to it and you can also um well the plugins you can do a lot to extend so you can also share the fixtures so this, this was something i wanted to do because i wanted to um have the fixtures i created in the python bindings um repository i wanted to share these and uh, with other projects where i could use them and if I may create a PyTest plugin, it will allow me to install it locally. So in usually a Python tree as a package and PyTest will automatically pick this up as some as a, as a fixture, which it can load. And it is really easy to create one. So you simply add an entry point to your setup.py and um, uh, ship provide a um, provides the required um, files in your your pi 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 um, your your as a, so you pro basically provide a library with fixtures and then you're good to go. So currently, I created um, two fixtures. So this is similar to um, what is now provided in the uh, Py, Python bindings for Pac-Man Pro Story. So I have a fixture which can gener generate a local database. So this is this fixture is a function and, and one that can generate a sync, uh, sync to be. And this is also a function. So both of these functions, you have to pass um, a dictionary with pack packages in a specific format and then it will simply generate them. So the use is as following. I have a JSON file here in my repository, in my test setup, which contains um, key values. So the exactly the fields in the description file. So basically name and then as value Linux and then the version and then what is it for 5.8. Uh, um, I create a fixture of, out of this just for convenience. Then I create a new fixture which contains the, um, which is my test local database, <clears throat> and this uh, generates the generate local db um, its function. So I return this fixture, um, and it creates a local database in a temporary. Uh, location. <clears throat> then in my test local DB, DB I provide, uh, well, I, I provide both the te test data and the local DB. And I simply assert here if the, uh, if the required structure is created. So this is a bit of a silly test, um, but it's, um, just for demonstration purposes. So this works. Um, this is not included yet. Um, it's not not yet finished, really. <clears throat> so there's still a lot to be done. Um, currently, there's no. It's not published yet at, on PyPy or as an Arch package. So there's still on my to, to do list um, to do soon. Hopefully this week. Um, I still have to then make use of it in the uh, in the Python uh, bindings for Pac-Man project, 
and there's a lot of need for documentation of course how, how you can use these fixtures or how the um, data you provide to these generate functions should look like um, I wanted to add more tests to the repository itself and I want to add more flexibility so currently I can create a files to be but um, it cannot create a files to be um, which is something I don't necessarily need yet and another thing which is missing is um, the sync to be with uh, the required um, zipped extension so for example if I want to make core.db.rdgz it doesn't allow me to do this yet um, and I have I need this for Archweb because it reads databases such as this but I'm not sure yet if this is something the plugin will provide as this is also something you could do in your own project so this is also something I have to determine then I want to integrate it in Archweb as it now uses hard-coded um, fixtures which are pretty which is the whole point of making this PyTest plugin because I want to make generate pro uh, fixtures which is a lot more flexible and easier to do than uh, hard coding things and it also allows me to create to test more uh, scenarios so in Archweb for example if I want to test if packages get upgraded um, correctly in the database so if for example if there's a new Linux version and I um, import a new core database I, I have no test for this at the moment because I have hard coded one database and I would have to hard code or basically store two databases in the project so this isn't really manageable um, yeah that's it so the conclusion yeah it's really easy to test um, it should be really easy to test anything which requires the um, uh, s uh, some sort of Pac-Man uh, database in a Python project. So if you're, for example, if you're looking for this, um, this should really help. And the source code is located on our GitLab if you're interesting. And that's all. And thanks for everybody involved in organizing this event. It is really sad to not see you all, but it's. Awesome that there's still an online event.